Good morning, everyone. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another live market analysis here at Market Minds Mastery. Today, let's start with the US oil. It's a bit interesting um, chart patterns here. So we've marked the resistance monthly high at this point. And the price um, tested, it's about $83.5. The price tested on the daily chart yesterday. And if we go down to a lower time frame, uh, just bear with me. Okay, we go down to the four hour chart. Yesterday, after this uh, impulsive candle it's pointing to the upside, the market created a bearish candle that continued during the uh, New York trading session. Now, it's been two sessions here uh, since, the, uh, since the early morning, but the market didn't really move anywhere. So after this consolidation, maybe we're going to see some more continuation to the downside. Looking on the left, uh, if the price will continue moving lower, then we have this area of support. It's around the $81. And please mark it on your chart because it might going to be a good level. Now, on the hourly time frame, bearish and golfing here, but be mindful, guys, that the price currently sits at this support. That's an intraday support. And if you try to go short for a breakout, maybe the price will bounce upwards before it moves lower. So uh, these things, you have to uh, take them in consideration uh, while, while trading, okay? Next one, let's check the gold. Yesterday, daily chart, still the price rejected the support. Looks like that the buyers, they want to push the price higher. On the four hour time frame, a bit of consolidation. The market traded below and above this S1 support around 21.15. It's a bit of sideways, so let's see what's gonna happen. The lower the time frame you go, the more uh, noise you're going to find when the higher time frame is in a kind of consolidation. Yesterday on the daily chart, we see the market created an inside candle. So it shows a um, symmetrical triangle on the lower time frames. Next one. We can check the Euro US dollar. Yesterday, daily chart created this uh, bullish hammer or long leg pin bar here. The market rejected the lower moving average, the, uh, the 50 period moving average. It's still hovering around the previous week's low and also a four hour bullish and golfing order block that got filled yesterday and looks like the price is bouncing to the upside let's go on the four hour chart you see guys yesterday found some support here that was a the order block and the um the one below it was this one here that one there so the price found support on this bullish and golfing order block and moved to the upside next one great british pound on the sterling some up on the sterling some news early this morning uh, consumer price index we want to see the yearly that's the that's the one here it was 5.1% and it dropped to 4.5%. So it's considering as um, 
as bad for the for the currency it can weaken the currency and what to wait for the upcoming events so uh, in less than an hour the president Lagarde will give a speech and all the market participants will be focusing on the interest rates tonight reported by Fed they stated to keep them at 5.5 percent and we don't see any reason for uh, rate hikes now okay so back to the sterling great british pound us dollar on the daily chart price rejected uh, this uh, weekly low also the 50 period moving average on the daily chart this market is making higher highs and higher lows so it's in an uptrend so we might gonna see some more push to the upside without being 100% sure that's what we expect at least USD Canadian dollar it's still around this uh, monthly resistance or monthly high on the four hour chart the price created that massive bearish engulfing yesterday and is trading it's been one two three four that's the fourth four hour candle that is traded within this bearish engulfing USD Swiss around this uh, weekly high and we see if they're gonna uh, if it's gonna drop lower there is a lot of an unmitigated area here fair value gap that the price might gonna come to retest and we'll see what's gonna happen with this one as well Japanese yen became very weak as uh, as currency and the market market participants are taking advantage of that one Great British Pound, JPY, it's in an uptrend on the daily chart, price made a higher high on the 4-hour chart, uh, very shallow retracement, so most likely we're going to see some kind of retracement prior a uh, continuation upward move. Uh, I'm still in this trade for those who might be interested, New Zealand Canadian dollar, uh, the stop loss didn't hit it yet on the four hour yesterday we had a bullish engulfing candle and the market didn't follow through so let's see if today it's gonna bounce to the upside or something regarding bitcoin it entered into this 61,000 guys remember yesterday i told you watch out of this area here between 60 and 62,000 dollars price maybe it's gonna found the support uh, it's look here to bounce to the upside the ethereum from four thousand one four thousand dollars it dropped to three thousand almost uh, actually three thousand fifty again maybe it's going to find some good support to bounce to the upside solana looks more steady than the the rest to be honest ripple or xrp still ho hovering around the 60 cents so it's fairly bullish moves on the cryptocurrencies the DAX it's uh, holding around this all-time high resistance yesterday the daily candle printed another bullish engulfing uh, I'm not very interested anymore with the DAX guys I just need to see some kind of market clarity before I continue looking for something more uh, S&P 500 uh, the price it, it, it entered into the four hour bearish and golfing order block for second time so we are not looking to take any trades the first the only one trade that we were keen to take it was this one here and on the hourly time frame it looks like this the price came all the way here and then it sold off that's the only trade uh, could favor that one us 30 pretty much the same let me delete some of this here on the daily chart price bullish candle it, it it will enter now on this four hour uh, bearish and golfing order block it's a weak one it's not a very strong one so let's see what's going to happen here but they are also fairly bullish uh, the market will anticipate to be honest what's going to happen today with um, uh, interest rates in the US 
I think we covered all the majors, the major indices, and also um, commodities and uh, crypto. So that's the analysis for today, guys. If you need something more specific, please reach out to marketmindsmastery.com. You can contact us and we can help you with anything you need. So, um, as always, I try to keep this live short. If you have any questions, please make sure you add them on the chat below so I can help you. Maybe you need to see another currency pair. So have a great day, everyone. And I look forward to see you tomorrow with the new market updates at the same time. Thank you very much.